Welcome to my infrared project. Anyway, today we're going to discuss about infrared. Right? Yeah. Anyway, infrared has many uses. Let's look at it at the EM spectrum first. As you can see, infrared, follow my mouse. You see my mouse, it's white on black. If you can't see it, you're blind. Right here, infrared. Notice it's right next to the visible spectrum. And notice that is next to red. That's where it gets its name. Infra means below, and red is the color red. Red is right here, is right below red. Infrared, get it, get it? <coughs> infrared waves are a little smaller than visible waves, and the normal naked eye can't really see infrared. So, there are people that develop some goggles or lenses that can see it. Infrared waves are about the size of a fingernail, as shown by this picture. Yeah. Does this poster look familiar? Because it's on the wall in our classroom. Yeah. Anyway, infrared is used in a lot of things. Sorry, brain fart. Infrared is used in a lot of things, such as, hmm, therapy? And some cameras have it. Speaking of cameras, there's something called thermography or thermal photography. I think how you uh, thermal photography. Thermography, anyway, it's really cool. It separates images into different colors with different temperatures. But don't take my word for it. We're going to our evil doctor who wants to stay anonymous and anonymous, and yeah, hands on. Yes, I am the whatever you call me. Okay, today class we are going to. Go into thermal imaging, or thermography, or another form of infrared imaging. Anyway, I'm going to observe some live specimen, so it's gonna be fun. Okay, so let's see. Regular vision, thermal vision. Ooh, regular. Okay. Now let's take out my neck gun. No. No. <laughs> don't worry, I don't intend to harm anyone here. <laughs> No, <laughs> here it is, yes. And my cloak, just so they won't be scared of my ugly face. Okay, let's go hunting. <laughs> I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna switch to my infrared imaging so I can see them better. Now let's go find some specimens to observe. Turn it off for now. You are not supposed to see this, but for the sake of our project, you must be tranquilized. Sensor. <laughs> Back to my nut gun. As you can see, dang it, his head is turned. Let's look at that guy. As you can see, thermal imaging, the redder, more orangish areas, and the white areas are the hottest areas, while the bluish greenish parts or the cold areas. Now let's look at them um, without thermal imaging. So, see the white area, his forehead, his face. It's hot because he's nervous because I'm near. And obviously, he's quite sweaty because that's his shirt, which shouldn't be hot, but it is, so it's kind of gross. Let's look at Soldier here. He's pretty cold. That thick Kevlar he's wearing. It should be cold since it's thick, and his helmet right here. It's even thicker, you can't see it. Now let's go close to his face and see what the soldier's face looks like. <sighs> Is my nut gun out? Okay, they might be scared of me this part. Brace yourselves! Shh, he doesn't notice me. I don't like this. It's dark. Oh! Crap! Crap! Nut gun! Nut gun! Okay. I'm okay for now. Look at his arms and his face is red. That's because his hand is sweaty. Sweaty palms is kind of common among people, actually. And his face, like the other- oh, STAY DOWN! STAY DOWN! Yes. So, as you can see, thermal imaging is very useful among military, other people, yeah. Here ends our session. Thank you, too. Anyway, thank you, Doctor, for your amazing observations. Going back to infrared, I forgot to tell you one thing. Infrared, even though it's associated with heat, 
is not heat itself. Because heat in physics is energy, or the transfer of energy, or the motion of atoms or molecules. That's heat. It's energy. Infrared is radiation. It's on the EM spectrum. It's different. It's not the same, okay? Remember that. Anyway, as Dr. said, military, yeah. Missiles on planes. They have infrared detectors that lets the missiles follow the planes and go. Want to see it happen? I'd be glad to show you. Watch the snow speeder. Watch the snow speeder. Okay. I got him. So, yes, infrared with missiles are used to kill people. In complete contrast, infrared is also used to save people's lives, like fireman. Here I am, a firefighter, obviously with my high-tech firefighting equipment, to save this house to becoming a burning rubble. Anyway, firefighters use infrared goggles to see through the smoke. It doesn't eliminate the smoke, because you can still see it, but it makes it not so dark so they can see the people too because the people are a different color like the thermographic thing oh my gosh anyway let's see the difference of something of a firefighter with infrared equipment and with none okay so then it goes take one no equipment this is what happens when a firefighter has no equipment Now, with highly advanced infrared equipment. Why am I gonna put this on? <laughs> oh, I don't need my fireman hat. I gotta save some lives. I can see through the smoke. I hate it when this happens! <laughs> Hurry up, you're burning! So yes, props to the firemen for using infrared to save life. Life! The Latin word for life is bio, I think. Bio. Infrared is in biological systems too. I just spit at the camera. Anyway, things like snakes, some reptiles, mostly venomous snakes, like pit vipers and boas. Are boas, I don't know, well pit vipers for sure. They have the ability to sense infrared radiation so they can see the body heat of their prey. Let's go check it out. So here we are, as I promised, snake hunting. But due to our budget of zero dollars, instead of wearing protective equipment and giving myself vaccine shots instead, in case I get bitten, I'm wearing shorts instead of using a tranquilizer gun or regular gun. I have my amazing firefighter stick to ward off the pestilent snakes. Anyway, if you don't remember, about half a minute ago I told you that snakes can detect infrared heating or infrared radiation. Due to our low budget, we think it looks like this. But it probably doesn't. 
because we're poor. Probably looks like this. Anyway, about snakes. I love snakes. Because in cartoons, when they're about to kill someone, they kind of raise their bodies up a little and they sway back and forth. And then they bob their heads up and down. So if there was a snake right behind me right now, I'd be dead. Ah! Oh wait, snake bites. Kind of hurt. Anyway, here we are in a sauna. Due to our low budget, this is a heat sauna. This is not an infrared sauna. There's a difference. Heat saunas, they use steam or like a fire to heat up the air in the room. Infrared saunas down, the ones we're talking about. Yeah, those rocks, I don't know how they hate this room, but they do. Infrared saunas down. There's some infrared saunas, or no, I'm sorry, infrared heaters on the wall. You just kind of shoot infrared rays on your skin, and that's used to heal like muscle soreness, or we just got like maybe pulled muscle or something, I don't know. I'm not an athlete, man. Anyway, yeah, infrared saunas. Those are very useful. But better than heat ones, because it's infrared, and we're doing a project on infrared. Anyway, infrared heaters are also used to defrost planes. Isn't that amazing? Like, defrost? Yeah, it's really fun here. I want to get out now. No! Well, thank you for joining us in exploring infrared. On behalf of our low budget, we are incredibly sorry that you had to experience some horrendous stupidity with us. Hope to see you next time.